you like jazz, perhaps you also like trans voice tutorials that don't require a linguistics degree or a sound engineering degree to understand it. In other words, a trans voice tutorial that doesn't use complicated words and can be comprehended by literal five-year-olds. Here it is. Change the voice. From this. To this. People ask for it, so here it is. How to trans voice part two. Resonance. And don't worry, we'll explain what that is. Oh, sorry concept of pitch. I didn't see you there. No, we don't need you yet. We'll get to you. I am sorry for doing that. Would you like to help me operate the camera today? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so resonance is basically where our voice resonates. <laughs> or to put it in words most people know, vibrates. Resonance is a key component that allows a voice to sound bright and feminine, regardless of pitch. Me talking right now is my usual girl pitch voice, however, I'm not using resonance to speak here. Sounds pretty different, huh? <laughs> Essentially, we want the voice to vibrate from our head instead of our chest. How do we do that exactly? We're going to accomplish this by becoming one with the buzzy bee, harnessing the energy of that kazoo kid from 2014. Wait, what? That was filmed in 1989? Wait, Kazoo Kid's older than me? We are gonna make a buzzing M sound like the buzzy bee. Hmm. Try it with me now. Hmm. <laughs> we wanna make it very buzzy, almost excessively, like a kazoo. <laughs> now, don't call me insane for this, but imagine your voice has physical form. Wait, no, please don't click off the video. When you make this buzzing sound, try to imagine the sound traveling to a wall in front of you. Or imagine I'm your target. Imagine your voice is like attacking me or something. Basically, you want something in front of you to focus your voice going to it. Hmm. You can even like move your arm a bit while doing this exercise. That kind of helps sometimes. Oh, and remember, it doesn't matter what pitch we do this in. That's not the point. Pitch is completely independent to this. Pitch is its own thing. <laughs> now, let's try it together with all the stuff we've learned. Mm. Now, if you want to check, you can actually grab like two fingers and place it on your lips. If you feel vibration there, then that's good. That means you've transferred the resonance or vibration to your head and more so your mouth, which, which is good. <laughs> Once you've mastered this technique, you can actually knock over objects in the distance. Watch. Mm. Oh no. Pitch, we gotta get out of here. you're thinking random voice coach youtuber we have a cool patreon linked in the description below how do i turn this into a real person voice let me let me show you are you familiar with the vowels a e i o u well most words in the english language happen to use these so if we practice based on these core foundations then we'll be able to say more words a bit quicker. Cause I'm not gonna make you learn every word in the dictionary. There's a lot of those. <laughs> Remember that buzzy M that we just did? Well, that's an M, that's a consonant. So let's just add a vowel to it. So let's do these vowels one by one. Starting with ma. Ma. I guess it's kind of like singing, but not really. <laughs> now I know it's a bit of a funny sound. It's okay. Speech pathology has a lot of really funny sounds, but um, we're doing this together, so it's okay. No, what, no matter what sound comes out, we're getting better and better. So let's try again, okay? You're doing great. So, and remember to give yourself a nice deep breath with your nose and let it out. 
Mm, uh, like that. <laughs> we want to give her that sense of buddiness and power, you know? Next up, we have me. You know, like, myself, but it's technically the I in the vowels because English orthography is really weird. That just means how English is spelled. My bad, this is supposed to not use big words. Oops. <laughs> so, if we were to do me, that would be me. <laughs> it's a bit of a funny sound, but in this case, we're just saying me. Yay. <laughs> so, let's try it one more time. Me. Cool. Cool. Be sure to keep it nice and forward feeling. We want to feel like the voice is traveling to the wall itself. My wall's here, in case you're wondering. Now we get to be one with the sheep with our next sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Wait, that's the sound sheeps make, right? Like, I. Maybe I should have checked before I. Yeah, they make like a meh, right? Where's that goats? I don't know the answer yet. Um, I'll find out when I edit it. Now, what we just did were bright vowels. Bright vowels are easier to do in a bright and feminine way with resonance. The reason for this is these sounds are produced in the front part of your mouth. That's the only linguistics details that I need to share for this tutorial. <laughs> As tempting as using my degree for literally anything is. <laughs> However, it gets a bit difficult from here as we have to deal with dark sounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So our dark sounds are mu and mo. I'll be real with you lovely audience. These ones are a bit harder, but that's okay. We may not get it straight away, but through practice, we can overcome the dark souls of resonance vowel sounds. Let's start with mu, because I like that one more. And it sounds like a cow. And cows are friends. Mu. <laughs> you might say this is a bit harder at first. Try to keep the buzz going as best you can. Remember you can check your lips at any time with your two fingers to make sure you're doing it. So let's try again, okay? Mu. Cool, cool, cool. We're doing it, we're doing it. And now last, but definitely least, we're gonna do more. Um, we can do it, I promise. This sound is comparatively the most difficult for most people that I've had as students. However, I believe in you, okay? So, this sound is like going... Now you try. It is a bit tricky, huh? I remember having trouble with this one in particular. Well, starting out, resonance is such a big topic that there'll be a follow-up video in the future about how to convert the buzzy M's into regular speaking words like milkshake, that kind of thing. <laughs> It's okay if the voice doesn't sound exactly as we want it right now. The idea is just to emphasize resonance to an extreme amount so that when we transition it, pun intended, into standard speaking, we'll be able to have some wonderful resonance in regular speech. <laughs> then with our amazing voices, we will monopolize the audiobook industry and take over the world. And by that I mean we're going to get better at speaking as our authentic self. <laughs> or just for fun, depending on why you click the video. So, to all the trans gals, non-binary pals, femboys, or anyone else that found this video useful, good luck. I believe in you. Remember, the goal isn't to sound like the people in the videos. <laughs> the goal is to apply these techniques to you, to find your voice that feels like your own. A voice that makes you feel euphoric, a voice that gives you a warm, happy feeling. This may be like a tiny step in the grand scheme of things, realistically. But don't give up. A step is still a step. And the more steps we take, the further we get in our journey. 
I believe in you. If you want more trans voice content with overproduced special effects and hopefully educational value, <laughs> be sure to like the video, comment about what you think, and subscribe. And ring the bell, please, because they tell me to. <laughs> Stay hydrated and know that you are valid. Good luck and practice hard. And, and look after yourself. Hi, it's um, the end of the video. Um... <laughs> Can I, um, can I say something? Because, uh, you know, we always do the unscripted part of the video, right? Um, thank you so much for the last part's feedback. Like, everyone was so nice about it. Like, I thought I'd do kind of okay, but, um, I, I, that one video got me to YouTube partner. I make money now, just from the video itself. Thank you so much. It means a lot. I didn't expect this to happen. Like, I'm, this is a completely out of my ballpark area of the internet. Because I, I just make ASMR roleplays. But here we are with overproduced special effects and funny backgrounds and hopefully educational trans content. <laughs> so I'll, I guess I'll say this in every trans voice tutorial I do. Because <clears throat> not everyone's going to watch it all in order, and that's fair enough. The goal of these kind of videos is to apply a technique through quick sessions of practice to improve our own voice. It's not about how much you sound like me or other YouTubers that do this. It's about finding a voice that suits you and makes you feel happy, you know? I know that when you see the, the, the YouTuber on the screen that does the voice good, it can kind of make us compare ourselves to others. And I was there, I like years ago I'd watch like uh, it was basically only trans voice lessons at the time, to be honest. <laughs> That's the only tutorial I remember <laughs> being around. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I guess I felt like I couldn't do what other people were doing. But I kept practicing and here we are. <laughs> and um, I guess I'm making tutorials now too. So you never know what's going to happen, basically. <laughs> Transition is a beautiful thing. You, uh, you find stuff about yourself that you didn't know yourself. <laughs> And you find more about yourself and you watch yourself grow in ways that you didn't expect. I I never thought I'd be doing this kind of thing, but here we are, <laughs> you know? So I just want you to know, this all means a lot to me, okay? Now I know the whole point of these videos is to plug the Patreon and that kind of thing, but um... I'm glad I get this opportunity to help people, you know, both in a paid way and a freed way. So, I guess all I wanted to say is, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> and, um, I hope these help. Sorry that the dog's barking in the background. This took, it, like, hours to film. <laughs> but, um, I'm glad I could help trans people. And anyone else that finds the video useful. Because when... I first came out, there wasn't really any tutorials like this. Especially none with funny special effects, that's for sure. But, I'm glad I get to do this. So, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I know practice is hard, but you can do it, okay? High five. I actually hit my wall. That is so embarrassing. Okay, well, that is all the time we have today. So, I'll see you next time for the next part where we delve more into resonance. Till then, stay hydrated and know you're valid.